Oh boy, I'm gonna go ahead and put my thoughts out there about this situation because I, I really gotta say this right now. It, it's no surprise that GamerX situation is sort of sad. It's sort of a sad story because these two individuals, Tony Roca and Matt Cohn, took advantage of those people. Took advantage of the people who they had good intention, you know, they had good intentions to make a convention to bring awareness about the LBGZ community, playing video games too, and they're human beings and should be treated like human beings. And they were about inclusivity and everything. Of course, you know, they were kind of, you know, the biggest, you know, popular defenders that, that wanted to protect people from Gamergate, who were a big harassment campaign and everything. But it turns out they became the monsters that that they claim that Gamergate is. They took advantage of people. They sexually harassed people. They they became hypocrites. They became the very big thing that they were against. They were against harassment. They were against this stuff. But it turned out that these these two people, Matt Cohn and Tony Roca became the monsters that that even <laughs> were surprised about. And it's sort of a sad story too because these people were paying their employees low wages. They basically said that that according to one source saying a former employee confident confide in her Cohen con consistently undervalues women and enables others to do the, the same along with engaging in inappropriate sexual content content in the work setting yeah and it says we're here while people are talking employer mace treatment in games industry reminder that Matt Cohen mid boss makers of 2064 read only memories severely mistreats their workers and have a streak of taking advantage of young queer people in tough situations in order to underpay them. And this was from the source uh, Liquid Quist Crystal on Twitter. Update, among numerous people who have c contacted me, Matt Cohn after this, on top, in fact, he consistently undervalues women, enables them to do the same, and has come to the light of mid-boss. Matt Cohn is a sexual harasser. And this is, this is from March 23rd, 2018. And this, this is coming out pretty badly for, for both the, the owners of GameRex because they developed this, this convention, like I said, with good intentions. But at the same time, behind the scenes, yeah, they were abusive by nature. They were, they were pretty, it was pretty dark. And I can see that a lot of people who <laughs> said that Gamergate was bad, they were worse. And you thought that Donald Trump was bad, they were grabbing bitches by the pussy, no joke. <laughs> and I hate to tell you, I hate to say this, but it's the truth. You guys thought that Donald Trump was bad, but these two managed to grab bitches by the pussy. This is like, <laughs> oh god, no joke. I, I hate to, I hate, I hate to make that joke, but it's it's sort of like a, a funny joke right there. That that's sort of dark and morbid because they actually were sexually harassing people, and amongst the callouts that people do. And right now, this is sort of sad too because you have to understand that these two are indie developers. They're not really inside the gaming industry, they're outside the gaming industry. Even though they talked to, you know, even though they invited like EA and all these other companies to come in and try to, you know, do this, it's sort of sad that, yeah. I, I think that most people are gonna probably avoid going to GamerX after what what's going on because of how these two, even though they left, yeah, 
they're gonna probably leave this convention alone or avoid it because of after what happened especially women I, I think a lot of women will probably avoid this convention because of what Tony Roca and both uh, both, both I keep forgetting these names I swear to God Matt Cohn have done <laughs> because this is gonna this is really affecting this is gonna really affect their business even though they probably will resign but the sad part is uh, Tony Roca has been accused even though she's now the president of the, the company or the CEO she's also being accused of of this and how are they going to resolve this I, I have a feeling that they're going to have to turn it over to somebody that, that that they can trust that that has no you know that ha has never done anything wrong to anybody maybe they'll probably sell it to Disney I don't know I have a feeling that Disney might buy this con convention in order to promote you know LBGTQ inclusivity maybe I don't know would Disney do it I don't know but it'd be interesting to see Disney buy this out, <laughs> buy, buy out a convention that happens every year. And make, they'll probably make some money off of it and promote, you know, Disney products and such. <laughs> Maybe Marvel. I don't know. They could. Because it would be fun to see that happen. But anyways, guys, I gotta go. Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, you can leave your dislikes or you, you can leave your comments and, and just tell me what you think. Because... If you, if you want to say, say something negative, go right ahead. I don't care. Anyways, take care. Bye-bye. Because this is just hilarious.